there's been there's been a bit going on in the news this mm-hmm. week, but there's one major topic, James, I wanted to talk to you about because I feel like I'm not informed enough about this topic. So I've seen a bit of controversy this week in the games world, in, in the entertainment world, and I have an opinion on it. Okay. But then I see people I trust and respect have a different opinion on it. And I realized that, well, I actually don't know anything about it. So I just would love to be informed before I actually give my opinion. Um, okay. And this is on this week's state of play um, mm. for PlayStation and yeah. the new Harry Potter game, Hogwarts Legacy. Uh-huh. Um, it had its first gameplay reveal. And with that came a lot of discussion online about J.K. Rowling, the author mm-hmm. of Harry Potter. The, and transphobia and is it ethical is it not ethical to purchase hogwarts legacy to play this game even if jk rowling isn't perhaps involved directly in the development of said game mm-hmm. and i feel like i don't fully get what's going on and i certainly didn't fault like jk Rowling. who gives a f- i'm not a harry potter guy anyway like mm-hmm. i don't give two fucks about the movies i read the books when i was a kid and i liked them but i could give a fuck about harry potter yeah um but Looking at the, like, obviously Harry Potter game, like I remember playing Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets on the PS2. Phenomenal game. One of the all-time great games. Mm-hmm. Very um, good game. Very good game. So the, the idea of having that style of open world Harry Potter game, I'm like, oh, I'd play that. That's cool. Like, I'll mm-hmm. give that a shot. But then I hear mm-hmm. about this, this controversy and I'm like, well, James, what, what happened? Can you, do you know? I feel like you're pretty informed of what's going um, on, especially when we've got someone in our community like a, like a Jamie Burns. Yeah. Um, one of the mods of the Four Pillars. Um um G- give it to me like what, what am i mean what don't i know what what did jk rowling say and do that has caused this and <coughs> why would that then impact a game that she's not directly involved in developing this game is that correct uh no i don't think so so what would the controversy be is it be just because it's her world yeah that I therefore think it's, it's supporting her i mean i've talked to jamie a lot about this we had a big discussion yesterday on discord because nils was also a bit conflicted as to like the main reasoning behind why it's like a moral dilemma um, and I think the main reason is it's not really the same situation as like with Ubisoft where we're do- like, I'm literally doing it because I'm like, I don't want to give this company my money at all. Y- yes. Um, obviously, whereas with this, like JK Rowling has obviously already been paid for the, you know, for using Harry Potter or whatever, like the money. Yeah, she's that, not going to lose you know, any money on no. the success of this um, game. She's already got think- a fee anybody is I don't, no but i don't think there is anybody like in their right mind anyway that is arguing that we're doing this to not give jk rowling money because even if this game completely flopped she still has plenty of money a billion like dollars. and she even if like <laughs> even if you never bought another harry potter product for the rest of time and nobody did and harry potter flopped forever she's still insanely rich and always will be yeah, um, that's ne- the literally will never change you you yeah yeah, yeah. And you'll so, never topple her she's got too much money yeah exactly and so that's not what this is about and nobody is trying to argue oh we need to make sure she never has any money like but the point right. here is and this is the way that jamie views it and i completely okay. understand that and like obviously from my perspective because jamie's my mate and he feels very strongly about this i'm also on his side with it um, yeah okay and it's okay. the the trans people and the lgbt community in general like it for them it's personal and they can't disconnect jk Rowling from harry potter and to buy something harry potter feels like to them like if they were to do it or say a close friend of theirs was to do it they're gonna feel like you're completely dismissing and all like Mm. what i'm going through and the things that i've put up with and jk rowling the things that she's said and what she, I mean, she donates to a bunch of different organizations that are anti-trans and all of this stuff. Um, Is that because she was very social justice warrior she for was, a time? Yeah, she was like, so she went I, after I was very being confu- a Nazi. Yeah. yeah. I remember I used to write her the Nazi letters. Yeah. Like yeah. I remember on Twitter it's when weird, I was like, isn't it? Cause she went like the opposite. A, a bit of a, bit of a meme there. And I think like yeah, 2017 yeah. or something mm. like used to do JK Rowling tweets for a laugh. And yeah. Now she's on the other side of the spectrum. It's really odd. I think she's What did probably... she say? Has she said stuff or is it about the support of organizations? That it's I, that, I, but I, it's I also... Thought... But she. it's literally all her Twitter is now is her engaging with these, like, weird right-wing organizations and, like, and having all these statements and, like, running these campaigns, like, whatever she does. Like, and it's it's all this just twisted, like... 
it's just transphobia. She just doesn't like trans people and wants to delegitimize them as, you know, their existence and be like, no, it's not real. It's all fake. Like, it's just men trying to harm women or whatever. Uh, but she, she, she dresses it up as this, like, protecting women, like, issue. And I just, she's coming from the complete wrong place. Like, I don't think... I don't think, like, in her mind, she thinks, oh, I'm being a terrible person. Like, she obviously believes what she's saying, like anybody does. But, like, what she's saying, she has a huge platform, and it, it is really, like, it's incredibly harmful. Like, the stuff that she's saying and, the, like, what she engages in and the, the people she talks to and the people she gives a platform by retweeting that, you know, might not have had an audience otherwise that are spouting the same stuff that she is and, you know, donating her money to these organizations. It's just... With when it comes down to Harry Potter, it's a matter of, yeah, this game is disconnected from J.K. Rowling to an extent in development, but Harry Potter is directly connected to J.K. Rowling, and it never won't be, no matter if she's involved or not. And so trans people feel if you're supporting this, you're sort of, you're dismissing what they feel and the fact that they're going through this and J.K. Rowling's doing this and you're, like, it's, it's like if, I think a similar thing, and this is what I said, yesterday on discord it's like a similar thing is the 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 jimmy savile show that he did jim will fix it jimmy savile for anyone that doesn't know it was a like a big celebrity in the uk for a while and then it came out after he was dead that he was a big old nonce um oh, it'd yeah, be right. like if they brought back his show jim will fix it but like with a different host it would still be really fucking weird and like in right bad yeah, taste yeah i mean that's true like, because you, you associate it with the nonce it's directly associate, associated to him and like bringing that you're you're then gi you're you're essentially giving jimmy savile again a platform despite him being dead despite him not obviously being on the show you're still giving what he did a platform and being like this is great and that is always going to have an effect and is always going to give a platform to the original creator of the thing and so I completely understand that. I obviously also completely understand the idea that not everyone is going to want to fight this fight. Like, that's just how it is. You can't yeah. do everything. And someone that buys Hogwarts Legacy might be fighting another fight. They might be boycotting some other company that mean, that's something that means a lot to them. You never yeah. know. And so... Imagine fighting every fight there is that you it's, see it's in just life. Not you would be exhausted. It's just not. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I think... I put a put a thread out on Twitter and I think it just comes down to... I've seen a lot of people trying to like justify and be like, well, actually, I'm not doing anything wrong. And it's like, look, if you, you are and that's okay as well. Like if someone wants to buy a Ubisoft game, I don't think they're a terrible person. But obviously, yeah. I'm so close to that situation that it's going to aggravate me. Like, when I see someone being like, oh, I bought the new yeah. Far Cry, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. But then i got to remember, they're not... This is just isn't a fight they want to fight. Like, it's not personal to them. You can't push that passion onto somebody that to, to, to fight back against something like this if they don't feel it in themselves. Um, yeah. And so it's one of those things where I completely get how the trans community feels... I completely understand that. I think that's completely valid and I get it because it's similar to how I feel about Ubisoft and it must be more so because they're directly, you know, they've directly been affected by this. It's their community. It's who they are. Um, whereas obviously I haven't been sexually abused and harassed by Ubisoft. But I, yeah. so I completely understand like that that's even more um, than what I feel. Jesus. And so I think that it's it's completely okay for these people to feel upset or angry that people are just dismissing jk rowling completely being like i don't really care i just want to buy the wizardy game um because to them it's yeah. like wow you completely are just you just don't care like but you know you can't care about everything all the time and i think some people are being dismissive on purpose i think some people just you know have decided this isn't something they want to fight but i guess to me the most annoying thing is people saying people trying to justify and be like no there's absolutely nothing wrong with this at all but there there is you know there is something wrong with it and i think there's there's validity in in wanting that people not to engage with harry potter media anymore um and yeah. so i think it's a matter of if you have personal stakes in this and you know somebody close to this and somebody that's been affected or 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 has somebody that's been affected like you know obviously i you know jamie burns is a really good friend and he knows people that have been directly affected by things J.K. Rowling have said or organizations she's contributed to, like people that have, you know, you know, committed suicide or have, you know, 
been really depressed because of you know this domino effect of this just intolerance from people like jk rowling and so to me yeah. it's just like i just don't i just don't want to engage with any of that like i've just like i just want to separate myself and be like no i don't want anything to do with any of that stuff and it it's tough because harry potter was a big part of my childhood i absolutely loved harry potter it was a huge thing that i loved growing up but it's just yeah to me it's just too messy like jk rowling is harry potter and harry potter is jk rowling i can't separate those things in my head i just think if you can separate the art from the artist i feel like that's a like i can't do that i feel like i just can't do that it's too difficult for me um and i think that yeah i don't know i just think it's it's a really weird messy situation i don't think anyone's a bad person for playing hogwarts legacy um but i also don't think that the people getting upset about it are wrong either so i I can see all the sides to be honest yeah it's that is a hard one that is a hard one so certainly beforehand i was like i don't really know how to feel about it like i am happy to admit that i don't know um Mm. and i'm like well if she's not directly involved then it's just a harry potter game i'm sort of like well like what are what is the fight but you know, you having you having explained that, I'm like, I can certainly see what what you're saying, and certainly see how um, it's more of an association thing for people, mm-hmm. um, and, and and what Harry Potter now represents to someone. Yeah, when that's they pretty see much that. what it is. It's like Harry you know, Potter there's, represents there's, that that platform that J.K. Totally. Rowling has. To- totally, I, I I get that. Like, I, that's why I feel we like it's even hard playing the old Assassin's Creed games that you love sometimes mm. because you still, you now associate that thing you once loved with something that has hurt a lot of people. And and like you said, like we can't fight every fight and I, this is just a fight I don't know a lot about. And, and you've now explained it to me, but even then I'm like, I still feel like there's probably, I'm probably still not informed enough to sit here and spew out an opinion just yeah, from yeah. that. Um, I like, Let's be honest, I probably wasn't going to play this game anyway. Yeah, so no. I feel like it certainly wasn't really a fight that I was like necessarily needing to have. Um, yeah, yeah. Or really something I needed to like tackle morally within myself. Like, am I yeah, going to play Hogwarts yeah. Legacy? I don't give a fuck about Harry Potter you as it yeah. is. You don't even like Harry yeah. Potter that much anyway. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> so it's whatever. Yeah. So it's like if it was a Lord, like if I found out J.R.R. Tolkien was like a fucking Nazi in the 1940s, <laughs> like that came out and that got revealed, that would fuck up. A lot of things in my life. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that'd be rough because I'd like to think, well, you separate the art from the artist. I'm like, I don't know if you can. When what what Lord mm-hmm. of the Rings and the world of Middle Earth represents so much of like, it, it's more than just a story. It's about like the messages it gives you and the hope. But when you find out the messages are from a fucking Nazi, yeah, like, you'd be yeah. like, well, they become redundant meaning and messages, don't they? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? All of a sudden, Sam's speech at the end of the Two Towers doesn't hit as hard. You know what I mean? There's yeah, because how can you? Mr. Frodo. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, but what's he, what's he really saying? And you need to look at all those like, <laughs> and obviously, J.R.R. Tolkien, not a Nazi, thank no, the Lord. No. You know what I mean? Like, thank yeah. God. Um, great man. One of the great, you know, liter- literary minds in history. Um, but mm. I look at that and I can totally then see how it would fucking ruin, ruin all that for yeah. you. Um, yeah. So I, I can appreciate that a hundred percent. Um and I'm not seeing you calling J.R.R. To- um, J.R. Tolkien, um, J.K. Rowling, you know, like a Nazi, or I'm not even sure if that's comparable. <laughs> it's a, I feel like, you know, yeah. but then again, it, it affects people perhaps all the same. I, again, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not um, a trans person um, and I've never had to deal with any of that. Like, no. I feel like that's a side of, of um, the world I'm not very informed on. Like, I don't, like, I know people that are trans, but I don't have any close friends that are, Mm. you know what I mean? Like, I don't have anyone like really close to my life that is, it's not something I've really been confronted by in the sense of like, I mean, I'm fine. Like, I don't give a fuck if someone's trans. It doesn't bother, be who you want to be. I don't care. But in terms of like seeing the issues and being informed on how people feel, I'm not. And I can't say that I am, you know what I mean? Like I struggle when I see certain debates, like I really struggle. The biggest debate I struggle with in terms of like uh, transgender people is, is sport 
because that's the w- a world I'm certainly way more involved yeah. in. Yeah, well, that's and in- like there was big stuff over the weekend with with the swimming <laughs> in the US where a uh, uh, a transgendered woman. That's the right way to say that, isn't it? If a, if um, a born born a male and becomes or identifies as a female, you're a transgender woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, um, you're good, you're I'm good. Just, I'm just, you know, with the greatest respect, James, with the greatest respect, if I say that, it's fine. Um, <laughs> like a transgender woman um, won gold at this, uh, uh, there was, a, and I forget what competition it was. Um, I'll have to look it up. But um, that was obviously very controversial because yeah. it is a scientific fact that the male body and the female body are different. You know what I'm like, just yeah, genetically the, the speaking. The thing with that is that it obviously should be a thing. Um, I feel like that's sort of like an obvious thing. And it's obviously in a lot of cases it isn't. Um, there are those instances where it is and it, it shouldn't be because it's completely unfair advantage. What do you mean that it is, it, is, it is what? So, so uh, t- trans women should not be competing against biological women. Because Correct. it's I not agree. Uh, that I agree. It's with. not a fair. It's not fair. You can't. Yes. You shouldn't be doing that. Um, yeah. But it's not the norm. And obviously, when those moments happen, obviously there should be you know a conversation. People should be like, right, okay, well this shouldn't be happening in the future because you can't like as much as we want equality, you can never you can never like make a man's body not have the capabilities that it has in terms of yes, sport, competing in sport. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so obviously that is difficult because someone that, you know, is a trans woman, they obviously, to them, they're a woman. Like they, you know, that's how they feel. That's how they identify. That's how they yeah. live their lives. And so that does suck that if they have a passion for sport, they can't compete with women. They would have to compete with men because it would, it, it would like, I mean, that's a whole conflict there. And it's like, how do you, how do you and there's, help those There's people, a conversation but. to be had and I think will be had in the future. I'm not going to be surprised if there is a, like mm-hmm. a non-binary or a, like a whole other division in sport um, created in many sports in the future. And I'm curious to see which is the first sport to attempt that, where it is for people that identify as like, and they choose like, okay, I can't like, I identify as a woman, but I was born a man. I'm not allowed to compete with women and that's fair. So I can either compete with men or there's this other category I compete in, like a non-binary type. Yeah, potentially. Like, but like I, I'd be interested to see where this goes because certainly something's going to come up and it's not something that's fucking rampant in sport. Let's not pretend it is or anything, but like mm-hmm. uh, it does come up and it has come up. Like it it's has, something yeah, I, for sure, for sure. The, in, in my particular sport, that's the biggest part of my life, mixed martial arts, it's a very like... I take that really seriously. I don't like when a transgender woman competes against a biological woman because this is their lives on the line, like potentially. This is their real yeah, for health. Sure, for sure. They're fighting each other in a cage, James. Like it's it's not it's not fair. Yeah. And that's not to say because there's been because there's just transgender women that suck at fighting and have then lost to to biological women, right? So like it's not like a hundred percent of the time, but on the whole, it's not fair. It just isn't. And that's no, yeah, my opinion sure. on that. But that's, I have nothing against a trans person. Nothing to do with it. This is a whole other whole other topic. Yeah, it's whole just how it topic. is. And it's it's obviously a conversation that, that will be had. But I think one of those, like this, that is one of the things that JK Rowling uses as the like front piece to sort of push what she's selling. And it's the, I don't, there's not many people really, unless like they're completely uninformed, that would disagree with that trans people should not be competing against some like trans women should not be competing against biological women, and the same with yeah. with trans men and men. Um, yeah. And so there's not. I don't think. I don't think anyone in their right mind feels the other way about that, unless like you're completely irrational. Um, but J.K. Rowling uses that 
to further her point to be like, look how ridiculous this is. It's the same stuff, which like, is totally different topics altogether. Exactly, like she, you know she I mean? will, yeah. she, she uses that to push forward the idea that, oh, look, it's this, it's fake. Like you know, they're just trying to hurt women. Like she genuinely believes that trans women are just out to hurt women and take advantage of women. And that's so insane. It's dude. it's it's that's it's so insane, just dude. it's just wild. It's actually yeah. wild. But you're talking about a literal billionaire, a billionaire. She's a billionaire. What like yes. she's not very in touch with the regular people. You know what I mean? Like I don't think you can't mm-hmm. look at these people that are the one percenters, the one percent of one percenters in terms of financial status, like el- the elite. And you can't look at them and be like they have a good grasp of the of the real world. Yeah, no, and they do like not. What people are going through, and they don't. And you can't look at J.K. Rowling for that. No, you know? for sure. But of course, there'll be people that are like that agree with J.K. Rowling and what she's saying, and will then use her as like the example. Like all of a sudden, these fucking church going Christians. Like I went to a Christian high school, like um, a very religious school, <clears throat> and man, you could not talk about fucking Harry Potter there. And I had friends that grew up very Christian and never saw Harry Potter, weren't allowed to watch Harry Potter because it's witchcraft. Wild. Like, that's that's a thing. And guess what they're all watching now, James? They love it. <laughs> they love Harry Potter oh, now, bro. God. They've got Tucker Carlson's fucking spitting facts. Ben Shapiro has never loved witchcraft more in his life. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, that Ridiculous. beautiful Jewish man. And I can say that because I am a Jew. That's true, um, you are, I yeah. am Jewish. I am, that we do not. That we do know. That's we not, do not know like, that, yeah. I'm genetically, biologically, in my blood, Jewish. You are. So, mm-hmm. you know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I mean, I am. I'm laughing about it because it's just something that's new. And yeah, I just exactly. find it funny still that We're I trying say to, it. still trying to adjust. I, I'm not used to it yet. I'm not used to like people like Tyler, why are you wearing hats all the time? It's like, oh, I'm just trying to get used to it. You know what I mean? On these podcasts? Yeah. Yeah. That makes so much sense. It's actually because my hair's getting longer. And when I forget to like shower and do my hair before we're recording, I'm like, I can't be on a podcast with my hair looking like this. I need to put a hat on. That's uh, why I wear hats a lot in podcasts. That's amazing. Um, but, you know, eventually. I very well may get, you know, get a, get a, get a yeah. yarmulke. You don't know. You don't know. I don't, don't know. know. I'm we'll yet to explore out. my Jewish heritage. Mm. I'd That's like to. I'd like to, you know. Yeah. Got to learn, you know, learn your history. 